Today I'm going to talk about the difference between birds and airplanes, specifically this part here, the vertical stabilizer. Some people might refer to it as the vertical fin. Birds have been evolving for millions of years to be what they are today, masters of flight. They are very efficient, more efficient than any airplane that we have. Why is that? Well, because we have airplanes with rigid wings and we have control surfaces that they're not as efficient as a biological creature that evolved for this purpose for millions of years. We just started flying around 100 years ago. When I speak about efficiency, I'm talking about converting some fuel into the energy necessary to do certain tasks. So birds are very efficient converting energy into flight. We don't. Birds can eat something and convert that energy to flap their wings and fly very efficiently. Instead, our machines burn a lot of fuel and they're not efficient compared to birds. Now, in an airplane, you will find very complex systems to control the control surfaces and other systems in the aircraft to make it fly right. But in birds, you won't find what we call mechanical systems, electronic systems. Everything is embedded into a biological entity which evolved for this purpose the entire history of its existence in the universe. So, of course, they have the advantage because they know how to do it, but they don't really know. It's just something that it's encoded in their DNA and it's their nature to do that. Birds have specialized muscles in their wings and body, and they also sense the minor changes in wind, direction, pressure, and things like that. So with their specialized muscles, they can control every aspect of their wings and their, their tail, for example, and they can do this very quickly and take decisions almost and make decisions almost instantaneously. And make decisions almost instantaneously. So birds can beat airplanes very easily because they're creatures embedded into a flying machine. So they do whatever they want. Humans, on the other hand, have a cockpit and we have to interface with the cockpit. So we have a lot of sensors telling us the speed, the temperature, the, uh, I don't know, the RPM of the engine and many other things, the altitude, but we still make mistakes. And even though we have some help from computers on board the airplane, we still make mistakes. And even though these computers are very smart and can fly the airplane alone, the airplane is not efficient enough to uh, fly like the birds. And also these computers cannot control the airplane just like the birds do because we haven't been evolving for this for millions of years. So that's why we need a vertical fin or a vertical stabilizer. Why do we need a vertical stabilizer in an airplane when birds don't need them? Well, that's because our airplanes need an extra help to keep them in the right track or stabilize. And the vertical stabilizer will keep the airplane from yawing uncontrollably. In the vertical stabilizer, we add a rudder so we can control the yaw. And in the horizontal stabilizer, we add an elevator to control the pitch. And then in the wings, we add uh, ailerons, flaps and spoilers and many other things to control the roll, uh, the speed of the airplane, the lift and many other things. But why do we need vertical stabilizers in airplanes and birds don't need them? Well, birds, they're very smart. They know what they're doing and with a vertical stabilizer they will be adding more drag to their flight and they won't be as efficient as they are now. Airplanes, on the other hand, are not. And even having a computer on board, the whole thing was designed by humans. And humans don't know how to fly. And even looking at the birds and studying them and all of that, we're still developing and we don't understand many things that make their birds fly very well and our airplanes not. Fortunately, we know we are stupid and we need to improve our science and learn more stuff so we can do better things. And someone smart enough understood that and started to work about this problem, about the adverse yaw and the vertical stabilizer and all of this. Now, if you don't know what adverse yaw is, well, you can search it online, but it basically means that if you turn to the left using the ailerons, this wing will generate more drag, so it will yaw the airplane to the opposite direction of the turn. So you need a vertical fin to counteract that. And if you have the rudder, you need to also put the rudder to the left so you can turn coordinated 
to the way you are turning. So adverse yaw just generates a lot of drag and is very inefficient. But birds seem to fly fine and turn and do whatever they want without a vertical stabilizer. And someone noticed that and started working on this problem. I'm gonna leave some links in the description below for videos and articles about this uh, research program of the proverse yaw. So everybody talks about the adverse yaw, but this guy actually built a flying wing. He researched the thing and he made the tip of the wings in a way that they generate some proverse yaw, which is the opposite of adverse yaw. So you don't need a vertical fin and it's very similar to what the birds do. So the proverse yaw will make the airplane turn in a coordinated manner without the vertical stabilizer. You don't need a rudder, you only need the ailerons and it flies amazingly and it's very efficient. For now it's a model airplane so it's a scale model big enough to test and do all of the research but if we use this in commercial aviation we will save a lot of money in fuel and other costs because this is a very efficient machine very similar to what birds are doing. So I have an analogy. For us walking is very easy. Well, maybe when we are babies, we start walking and it could be a little bit complicated for our small brain to practice this movement of walking. But after a while, it's something which you don't think about because it's walking, it's just, it's just there. So imagine programming a robot for walking naturally. Now for robots, it's very difficult to walk because they're not built for that unless you program them but even though if you program a robot to walk it's still very challenging and even though you know how to walk and you know how the movement is you don't know how to translate it in physics to program it into a robot and that's why uh, building robots that walk is something that it's being achieved but it's being very difficult now imagine building a machine that does something that you don't know how to do yourself. Well, that's even more difficult and that's why we still use vertical fins in our airplanes. Now there are many airplanes that can fly without a vertical stabilizer, especially flying wings, but they need some computer assistance to fly them and they are also designed in a way that they can uh, stabilize themselves but producing a lot of drag. So this new design is so they cannot produce so much drag and they are very stable without too much help of a computer so we can fly it without a fly controller and that's the main idea of this project which is really cool well guys that's all about vertical stabilizers and why birds don't need that and if you like this video just leave a like and if you don't you can also leave a dislike and consider subscribing if you like aviation and model airplanes and you know, all the things we do in this channel, and I'll see you in the next project.